We've got the biggest boomer. Uh, I thought it was gonna be like me. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be that guy. Who's is there the guy a David that frozen Bacon court? outside? What? David oh yes. David yeah, yeah. Is it time for me to go on? Okay. Oh, go get it. Okay. Go get it. Oh, you got a freaking. Uh, that's cool. <laughs> No coffee, and we're filled with motorcycles. Oh, I think they're sick. Uh, Laconia, and our, yeah, that's Laconia. Yeah, Laconia, where's some yeah. pizza, you no know, records and something? What's this place called? Divine Records. And what's your name? John. John. And uh, how long have you been in comedy? Like a year and a half. Awesome. So, we got a lot of cards. Uh, I don't know if you see anything that uh, interests you. Uh, let's see. I'm going to do X Files. Oh, fun. I think X Files has only been open one time. Okay, yeah. Who was the other person? It was uh, oh, uh, what is his name? It, the guy, it was in Cleveland, Ohio. I can't think of his name off the top of my head, but uh, oh, it was Don. Wait, no, it was uh, it was something like, uh, I don't know. These are like actual X Files cards. Well, yeah. What did you think <laughs> they would be? I don't, well, Ed had like pictures of comedians. Oh, well, because he picked a homemade one. Like this is the only homemade one left. I think. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know uh, if you point something towards that or something. Uh, let's Otherwise, see. Do you have a I don't think we do. This might be. I don't think it's it might be. Ooh, yeah. that could be. What is he looking at? Is that the moon? moon. Full moon? Or is that Mulder like Mulder penetrates Ellis Air Force Base and stands on a runway? Oh wow! Did you like the show? I do I like the show? Yeah. Well, you are funny. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, if, uh, I, guess just, I guess that's it. I have no idea. It's yeah, whatever you want. Yeah, yeah just I warned so, you to check to see if I was funny. Well, it doesn't, I don't have to, I don't have to put it up if I don't want. <laughs> I can splice you on the end of another one I where I need two here. more minutes. You know, it's all perfect. There's no, you know, there's no rhyme or reason. Yeah. There's no right and wrong. Awesome. What was your name again? John. John. Well, thank you so much. And uh, go see live comedy. <laughs> Good. Thank Thanks, so Dave. Much. Okay. <clears throat> well, uh, I've never really been to Lawrence before. Um, something gives me the idea that this uh, sort of fire is very similar to what you might find in the back parking lots in like a trash can thing, but uh, I don't know. Uh, the first two rules in stand-up are uh, get the mic stand, uh, out of the way and memorize your set. Well, I'm a contrarian, a rule breaker, some say a maverick. <laughs> it's called stand up, so I'm gonna leave the stand up here and memorize your set. What, all of a sudden the comedians are, uh, have decided to uh, take something serious? If you would have done that in school, you wouldn't be hanging out, usually I would say a bar again on whatever night this is. So, good evening. My name is David Bacon, and yeah, everything is better with me. Thanks for asking. Ladies, gentlemen, Woo. my seven minutes tonight might be too meta for this young crowd. I mean Metamucil. I want to start by addressing the obvious elephant in the room, all these damn donkeys. That's my political joke. Some people consider themselves left-wing, others right. It really doesn't matter which side you think you're on. Like any bird, a country needs both wings to fly straight. Just try to avoid all the political droppings. I kind of do improv, but I don't do yes and. I do yes ampersand. Yes, no one's been to school. <laughs> The more I learned about the church, 
the more I think they should change the Lord's Prayer. Shouldn't it end either ah, boys, or young men? Hmm. This one I haven't done before. I'm sorry to say, ladies, but your vagina belongs to men. They're making the rules. You can't sell it because you'd get all the money. If it's impregnated, more and more you have no say. And if you do give birth, the doctor won't even let you use gravity to deliver. It's time to stand up for yourselves, ladies. They say the band playing music while the Titanic was sinking were heroic. I don't feel the same way about today's entertainers. You might have to think on some of my... <laughs> This one's brand new. Have you noticed older guys have a man cave while younger guys have a goon room? Whatever the name, similar things happen in both. You guys might not even know what that would mean. Or maybe you do. My wife and I got a new dog. She likes to hide so I can't find her. When I call, she doesn't come. I think it might be the name we chose. Perhaps we shouldn't have called her G-Spot. <laughs> How am I supposed to wrap my head around AI when I still don't understand E-I-E-I-O? What the heck does that mean? E-I-E-I-O. <laughs> if you saw the tattoo on my penis, you'd think it said fuck. But you would know it says fire truck. I got, I got it from one of those. I'll put your name on a grain of, god damn it, grain of rice, chicks in the city. That's my version of the obligatory comic, com, god damn, <laughs> comedy open mic. I have a small penis joke. It's so small. How, how small, small is it? I kind of want to identify as a woman, <laughs> but just for the name change. So from now on, instead of David Bacon, could you please refer to me as Dick Tracy? <laughs> a lot of puns tonight. <laughs> this is the worst of them. And you gotta remember what my name was. Whenever I run into an old friend, and they want to hang, they seem to think I work at a sandwich shop, because they always say, I'm sorry, let us catch up bacon. <laughs> I love that though. When I was younger, I was embarrassed about being adopted, but now it gives me a lot of street cred. Oh, you did time in prison? Big deal. I was institutionalized at birth. I did five months solitaire, just hanging in the crib, hitting the bottle multiple times a day. Plus, later, I could kitty fuck my new mom. <laughs> I know we don't know each other, but this feels like a safe space. So now that it's cool or hip to be trans, I want to admit something to all of you. I've been flating Mary Jane for years. <laughs> I got one guy, the other Dave. They say pot is legal now in like 24 states. I don't believe it. Because I don't see anyone anywhere playing any hacky sack. What happened? That was the bat signal of smoking a bone back in the day. <laughs> you know, the river dance of sports. <laughs> and, uh, oh, I, this is new too, I don't know. I will not go get a manicure or a pedicure, because the place is just filled with pedophiles. At least, I think that's what they call the file they use. And I'm going to end with this. I'm going to end with this and see how many times I can say it. I have huge trust issues, so I'm seeing a therapist. I'm trying to talk about it, but I have huge trust issues, so I'm seeing a therapist. I'm trying to talk about it. You get it. Thank you very much. And no, critique, critique away. I say my favorite joke out of all those, to you fuck my new mom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, that, was, that was a good twist right there. It's like when he said new mom, like that was really good. Yeah, yeah, thank you. That whole bit about being in the crib and sucking the bottle is all good. Okay. Thank you. Maybe I'm slow. 
but like I want to catch up to some of your puns, but okay. it takes me a second to process. I gotta slow down between the things. Some of them. Gotcha. Like, yeah. That's fair. I understand your pacing is part of it, like, like yeah. the way you, you jump between uh, the punchlines. Right. For some, like. Slow down, let people think a little bit. It's good advice. Yeah. I think too. I don't know if it was maybe like just the size of the notebook you're writing on. Like, so, like I think it's fine to look in like your notes and, uh, and like I see people even use that in their act, like they do yeah. in the first joke. But some of the the lines were like <coughs> cut between you having to flip the page. Mm -hmm. So maybe even if that page turn like cues you to a joke, maybe either. Just have it all on one page, yeah, yeah. or just like small little notes on it. That way, in like the middle of a joke, you don't have to stop. So yeah, yeah. yeah, that's good advice. This is kind of a low hanging fruit, but uh, when you talk about the bacon thing at the beginning, especially when you tell the you know, it's everything better with bacon if the ladies like it. If bacon's not your thing, you know, he's like my sausage. I don't yeah, know, yeah, yeah. Kind of there you go. Right, right, right. You know? <laughs> right, that's good. Yeah. All right, thank you. Uh, just one more thing, though. Yep. Uh, I don't really care, but I would just like consider this for like other like places, like other open mics. And some people might not like you filming, like, for, yeah, recording them and yeah. all that. Yeah. And like if you get like maybe you just get like a camera stand, you can put your phone on and just use that. Yeah, yeah. Well, usually, I mean, this is pretty dark, but what I like to do is when I review the tape, I can then see people's faces and stuff and see how they're appreciating or not appreciating the joke, and that helps me. You know the thing. Yeah, but I just keep in mind like other places, other people yeah. who won't like that. You know, yeah. Like complain. Yeah, that's fair. All right. Thanks. Cool.